For all those watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're wondering how well the CMF Phone 1 can game. And in this video, I'll be testing out the gaming performance of the CMF Phone 1 across various games starting from smaller titles all the way up to graphically intense ones like Genshin Impact. So without wasting any precious time, let us begin. Now we'll be starting this gaming performance test with the battery at 100% and we will definitely be checking how much it has degraded at the end and along the way we'll also be checking the thermals to see if this phone gets hot. Now first up we played 4 smaller titles, these games are not that graphically intensive and the CMF phone 1 handled it like a champ, no problem at all. I played all these games for around 45 minutes in total and at the end of that there was no heating issues, nothing, the phone was actually cool to the touch. So if you're someone who plays casual games a lot, then again, you're good to go. Now, moving on to the actually bigger graphically intensive titles, let's first start with Asphalt Legend Unite. Now, if you want to play this game at the highest graphical settings, then expect somewhere around 40 to 50 FPS on the highest preset. And on default, you can expect anywhere around 50 to 55 FPS. But if you want a solid 60 FPS gaming experience all throughout, then make sure you keep it in performance mode. And in this mode, the game has a solid 60 FPS and you can enjoy the game without any sort of lag or jitters. And if you don't mind a little less degradation in terms of the graphics, then this should work for you. Now, after playing this game for some time, I definitely noticed that the phone did not get warm or of course, definitely not hot. So up until asphalt, there have been no heating issues and that is a good sign. So next up, let's test Call of Duty. Now, if you want a solid 60 FPS, no lag experience, then make sure you keep the game at high graphics and max frame rate. In this setting, you know, the game is very smooth, there's no lag, no stutters and you get very solid 60 FPS and I think that is great. But if you want each and every bit of the graphics that this smartphone can give you, then I would recommend you to put it in very high graphics and very high frame rate setting. But in this setting, expect only somewhere around 40 to 42 FPS. You're not going to get more than that, you're not even going to touch 50. If you're okay with playing at 40 to 42 fps but still having really good graphics then this is the setting for you now after playing call of duty that is when i could notice a little bit of heat like very slightly starting to come up at the back especially around this uh, camera area and uh, it was not drastic definitely not drastic i wouldn't even call it warm now considering that i played this game at high and very high graphic settings for quite a lot of time i think the thermals are really good and now it's time for BGMI. Now straight up, let me tell you, you can definitely play this game at HDR or HD graphic settings at ultra high frame rate, but you will only be getting around 40 to 42 FPS. And of course, this is consistent 40, 42 FPS, nothing crazy. Uh, maybe sometimes once in a while, like very rarely will you experience lag, but other than that, you will get solid 40 to 42 FPS. But if you want rock solid locked 60 FPS again, like Call of Duty, then you will have to keep this at smooth graphics and extreme frame rate settings. When you do that, the FPS is locked at 60 FPS and you get a very smooth gaming experience. Now I did play this game for quite a long time and if you want an enjoyable gaming experience, a smooth one, then make sure you put it at smooth graphic settings and extreme frame rate. With this, you get solid 60 FPS and to be very honest, you're not going to see a huge difference in terms of the graphics. I mean, especially in a screen this size, you're not going to see much. So I think this is the way to go. And in terms of heating, it felt similar to what I experienced with Call of Duty despite me playing these games continuously without any gap. So I think up until now, thermals are actually pretty good on the CMF4 one. And finally, let's play Genshin Impact. Now first I tested this game at the highest settings, so everything set to the highest settings possible and in this you get around 39 to 55 fps so yeah there is a huge variation in terms of the frame rate because of course there is a lot of things to render and you have many fx so you won't get any consistent frame rate like say fixed at 40 or 50 your experience will vary a lot. Sometimes you might experience jitters, sometimes it might be smooth as anything. So at the highest settings possible, this is how you are going to experience. 
But if you want to get a solid 50 to 60 FPS experience like consistently, then you can keep the render resolution shadow quality at high and frame rate at 60 and all of the other things at low. If you do that, then you will actually get around 50 to 60 FPS consistently without any issue. Now, even if you remove the bloom effect, you might get even more than that, like solid 55 to 60 FPS and it doesn't go below that. And the advantage of keeping your settings like this is that unlike the higher setting one, this is locked at around 50 to 60 FPS with rare occasions, like super rare occasions of it will dipping like around 45. So in terms of the gaming experience, you are going to get a much smoother, solid gaming experience. And since the render resolution and shadow quality are at the highest settings, you are actually going to get a really good looking game. You're not going to miss out on a lot of things. And I am actually quite surprised how the CMF Phone 1 handled Genshin Impact. And that is pretty good optimization from the team over at Nothing. Now, after playing this game for some time, it was only then that I noticed this phone getting warm. And it was not hot, definitely not hot, a little warm. So when I checked IDA64, it was around 39 degrees. And I have to say that is a pretty respectable thermal reading. And even while playing the game, you notice the warmth, but it's not hot, it's not uncomfortable. So you can actually continue playing. And it was like that for quite a long time. So despite playing such a heavy game, this phone didn't get crazy hot. So kudos to the Nothing team again for this amazing optimization. And with that said, this is the gaming performance test of the CMF Phone 1. And I'll have to tell you, this smartphone has definitely surprised me again. Of course, you can't play games at the super highest settings possible. But for a 15,000 rupee phone, this smartphone sure does perform very well. And I've been testing the gaming performance for like three straight days, continuously playing the same games over and over again. And this has been the result continuously. So it is consistent. And this is the result of very good optimization from the team over at Nothing. So if you're someone who's thinking like if the same phone one can game, then don't worry. Let me assure you this phone can definitely game really well and it doesn't get hot. You can get 60 FPS, but make sure you reduce the settings to, you know, high instead of keeping at super high settings. Other than that, you will still get really good uh, visual experience and still get solid 60 FPS. And I'll have to say, I am definitely impressed by the gaming performance on the CMF phone one. So thanks for watching and this year is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.